New details are available regarding Sasha Banks' deal with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mandy Rose says she's overwhelmed with all the love and support following her release from WWE. AEW's Chris Jericho decided on action and dready match direction back in October. And lots more news. Happy Friday. We've got plenty of news to get into here today. So let's jump right in, kicking things off with Sasha Banks and the latest regarding her deal with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Dave Meltzer addressed Sasha Banks' status in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Meltzer noted that while Banks' agreement is with New Japan Pro Wrestling, it also includes one stardom date, likely a major show the promotion has planned for the spring. Their belief is that with 5.6 million Instagram followers and 2.4 million Twitter followers, more than any of their talent, that she has gigantic mainstream appeal. Voices of Wrestling reported that Sasha's deal is the largest per-event agreement New Japan Pro Wrestling has ever made, including Chris Jericho's. Jericho's deal, however, was based on various percentages as opposed to a flat rate. Sources close to the situation only confirmed Banks' agreement is a huge per-event deal, but it is unknown how much she will be making or if it is more than Jericho received. Banks negotiated with WWE over the summer and reached an agreement that she would become a free agent at the start of 2023. This meant that WWE would not freeze her contract, but she would be unable to do anything wrestling-related until January. Following the regime change in WWE, the two sides began negotiating a deal for Sasha Banks' return, but ended up being far apart on money. Meltzer wrote, quote, She was said to be seeking a number doing the levels of Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair, and those internally have said she wasn't offered numbers close to that. They said that she's not seen internally as somebody who would be on top for the next five years. Appearing on a charity stream to benefit Family Giving Tree on Instagram Live with Bailey, she addressed filming a movie and also a makeup line, saying, quote, I'm trying to slow down because I do too much. A makeup line is coming. A makeup brand is coming. Tutorials are coming. I'm doing so much, especially the last month of 2022. I have a couple more weeks to get everything in order before the new year. I'm just working. In an interview with Forbes, Soraya was asked about Sasha potentially being her mystery partner on the January 11th episode of Dynamite in which she said, quote, I feel like anytime there's a mystery, everyone always goes straight for Mercedes. They're like, straight away, it's her. There's plenty of women out there. I'm not going to say yes or no to anybody, but there's a lot of exciting prospects for a potential tag partner. So make what you will of that. Let's go ahead and jump into the latest regarding Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose says she appreciates all the fan support and love she has received since her release from WWE. According to PW Insider, Rose posted the following to her fan time page under the username Mandy Sachs, saying, quote, Hey guys, thank you for all the messages. I'm overwhelmed with all the love and support from you guys, and don't worry, the page is still up. Rose was recently released from WWE on Wednesday after having been with the company since 2015. The company decided to part ways with her due to the increasingly suggestive nature of the content she posted to her site. The issue was addressed recently by our own Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, saying, quote, What happened was, I guess, there was a meeting and Matt Bloom brought to Shawn Michaels, told him what some of the stuff that she's been putting on her subscription service. Bloom told Shawn what was there, and Shawn's immediate thing was, we have to get the title off of her immediately. Switched around the whole show, got the title off of her. Right after they got the title from her, they then fired her. She's had the subscription service and it got popular and lucrative. She went further and further and the feeling was that she way, way, way crossed the line. They believed that they had absolutely no choice but to get rid of her in that situation. Again, everyone's situation is different. They promised sponsors a cleaner product as far as who the people are. Chris Jericho made the decision months ago that he was going to make Action Andretti a star. Andretti scored a surprising upset victory over Jericho at AEW Winter is Coming on Wednesday. Shortly after the match, Andretti was announced as having signed with the promotion. Our own Dave Meltzer reported that the decision for Andretti to defeat Jericho was made more than two months ago. Jericho saw Andretti wrestle QT Marshall on guard 
Clark, which aired on October 11th, and decided then that he was going to make him a star. Nearly a week removed from Final Battle, Dax Harwood is reflecting on FTR and the Briscoes' masterpiece double dog collar match. FTR and the Briscoes completed their trilogy as the Briscoes won the Ring of Honor Tag Team titles at Final Battle last Saturday. The dog collar match was rated 5.5 stars by Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. In a social media post on Thursday, Harwood wrote that, Over every match he's had in his career, the dog collar match is the one he's most proud of. Saying, quote, Artists have the one piece they're most proud of, and that's their masterpiece. This was my masterpiece. Watching it, honest to God, I've laughed, I've cringed, and I've cried. Over every other match I've had, this is the one I'm most proud of. After a year on TBS, changes to the look of AEW Dynamite are set to begin this January. Dave Meltzer recently reported the news, writing that AEW head Tony Khan and Warner Brothers Discovery, quote, had decided to change the look of the show and that those changes will go into effect this January. No details were given as to what those changes will entail. It's also unknown if AEW Rampage on TNT or pay-per-views will also undergo similar visual updates. Dynamite has retained the same general look and feel with graphics, music, and visuals since its 2019 inception. Former Ring of Honor World Champion Jonathan Gresham has signed a contract with Impact Wrestling and already has a former ROH champion in his sights. Gresham returned on Thursday's Access show to back up Delirious after Eddie Edwards was working to remove his mask after defeating him. It was later announced that Gresham had signed a deal, terms are undisclosed, and that he will face Edwards at Hard to Kill on Friday, January 13th. Kazuchika Okada is this year's Tokyo Sports MVP Award winner. Okada received 15 out of the 17 editorial votes from the publication to win the award for the fifth time. Additionally, Okada's match with Will Ospreay at the G1 Finals was also voted Best Bout. All right, I told you there was going to be a lot on this episode of The Latest. So thank you so much for watching. As always, let us know your thoughts on these stories in the comment section below. And if you would like to chat pro wrestling with me, feel free to follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Additionally, you can check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, live here on FRW Online on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Have a great weekend, everyone.